In this video, we wanted to show you how you can use your stock from one operation and bring it in to be used as stock for a second operation. Now, right now, I have this part programmed front and back. If I wanted to run this in my machine and flip this over, in the simulation, it's not going to show me both sides. Both stock models are the same thing. So in order to use my simulation file from the front side, I want to run my simulation. Now we can see all of the holes in the engraving. We want to go to our measure tab first so we can remove all these little chips out of the middle. So I have it set to remove chips, keep only one part. If I click my middle mouse button, the little wheel on your mouse, on the part, it's going to drop that stuff out. Now I go to my cut sim tab and click on this save stock button. I'll call this op1 and hit save. Now this is saving to my desktop as an STL file. You could also use this for 3D printing. Now I want to go to my stock wizard for the back. We want to use the STL stock type. I'll click browse and select that off my desktop. We have op1 right there. So now I'm actually going to visibly see the holes that are on the first operation. I'll just hit OK to verify that. Right click my back and simulate. So now when I run my simulation, I'm going to see the full scope of my job. Thank you for watching today's video and don't forget to sign up for our new Bobcad Cam user forum at forum.bobcad.com.